Hi, all you people, this is JT's Gamer, and it finally happened. I got the Platinum Trophy for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Oh, also, did I forget to mention, this is my first Platinum ever? No, but seriously, though. Yesterday, I defeated the Rainbow Gnomus King and got the Platinum Trophy. But today's video is not just going to be a whole bunch of bragging about how I have a platinum trophy and all that nonsense. Uh, today, um, I actually wanted to do something in particular. So, I've actually S-ranked all the delivery missions as of recently. But there is one mission out of all of the others that I swear is the most difficult. And it's actually in Zomburger. It's not base to base. Get wrecked, nerds. It's not. It's not base to base. Base to base is actually. It's all about hitting all the gnomes, and that's actually fairly easy. See, s s s s s s s s s s s s s. But I just wanted to quickly highlight their goats. The neighborhood. This mission sucks, and we're going to showcase why. Ready? This, this is, this is absolute garbage. It's all about timing your jumps, but sometimes your dash is not available, which makes it fairly difficult, and also that is probably one of the most confusing jumps in a delivery stage I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like, if you are like one pixel off, you would fall. Please tell me this is, like, I'm not going to get s rank on the first try, and this is not going to be that long of a video. Um, yeah, pretty sure I got an A there. I don't think, I think you got to get 31 seconds. Yeah, that's A. That performance right there, ladies and gentlemen, was an A. Berg. Alright. So, yeah, this is a, actually fairly difficult. Also, on uh, another note, I finally have a piece to a party character. I got a piece to party brains in my infinity ramblings. Get rid of that. That's annoying. See, like, look at that. Look at that. You're off by, like, a millisecond, and you will fail that. That is absolutely stupid. Yep. You can fail that one pretty easily, too, apparently. Basically, at the start, I recommend not moving the camera at all, because this, this goat, has the sensitivity of a hoverboard. I don't know how sensitive hoverboards are, because I don't own one. And plus, hoverboards technically don't exist. There's a quote-unquote hoverboard, if I remember correctly, but it's, it doesn't hover. It's on wheels or something like that. Yeah, that was that was that was even worse. That was even worse. Yeah, okay. 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 We get it already. I've already got an S on this, so I'm not too worried. But if this was... I was actually planning on recording me doing this while I was trying to get S on everything. Just so you guys could see my actual reaction to how stupid... Annoying this mission can be. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, we'll restart that one. That one was actually awful. <laughs> Alright, well, let's continue onwards. Words cannot even describe. Do you, you do you see that right there? That was that was stupid. Yeah, and you get stuck on that. Whoever put that there, that was just your and cruel, cruel, cruel human being. Gosh darn it, man! I knew I wasn't gonna make that. You saw me restarting prematurely, and that's because I knew I wasn't gonna finish it. Why would? Uh, why would I? Why would I even bother? Also, the hero showcase is absolute 
the just the idea of close range v close range. It's Rody Z and Count Chompula. Me personally, and I don't know, like I've the two big YouTubers that I know that do Garden Warfare to uh, uh, Wolfie and Zero uh, complain about the Chompocalypse personally. And maybe this is because during the Chompocalypse, I mainly played the Gnomus boss hunt because I hadn't beaten it before. That jump, I swear, is stupid. But anyway, as I was saying, I never had much of a problem with the Chompocalypse, honestly. Um, I'm sure it was bad, but maybe it's because I'm on a PlayStation. And also, maybe it's because that I don't really mind Chompers that much. Pea Shooters and All-Stars are what I hate. Because once Pea Shooters have Hyper, you can't win that fight. And All-Stars are the epitome of ability spam. Just... Okay, here's my problem. If I was to show my controller right now, and you'd see that I pressed X there, and he didn't jump... Like, it's not just me. Like, that happens. I press X and he doesn't jump. It's 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 a thing. It's a and sometimes he jumps too vertically, I believe. Too vertically. He jumps too vertically. That's that's not how you should jump. And sometimes the recharge screws you up because you, know, you can't do anything without recharges your abilities. Of course, so yeah, it would be kind of cheap if you were allowed to do it infinitely. And we just go whop, 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 But, you know, have a bit less of a cooldown, maybe. Okay. Hopefully you guys, maybe you guys can hear the controller right now and how I was spamming the X button trying to jump there. Maybe not, I don't know, but... That right there is what I'm talking about. That right there is the example of the, just, the absolute crap this mission is. Ah, oh, you always fall. There's always you always bump into ledges. There's always like ledges on the buildings that you bump into, like that. I don't need any more examples than that. That is, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, ba ba ba. See, like, I just got stuck on that. Oh my gosh. And then the X button wasn't doing anything. Also, I'd just like to mention that the X button is the only button that's on all the current consoles. The X button is on the PlayStation controller. It's on the Xbox controller. It's on the freaking frick you. It's on the, uh, it's on the Switch controller, I believe. I believe the Switch controller has an X button. I believe the Switch is basically basically has the Nintendo gamepad whenever it's not docked. Although, I don't know. I haven't personally played with a Nintendo Switch before. So, I would not know. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going well. This is definitely going good. This is, this is going fantastically. It's... it's uh... <laughs> but I, uh, I don't believe I ever finished talking about how I s have officially gotten specialist with all the characters that I own. I still don't own all the characters. I'm still missing one piece to Captain Squawk and one piece to the Necros. Yeah. Yeah. One piece to both. And uh, also, I'm... Stupid cooldowns! But uh, I'm also I'm also uh, got a piece for all the legendaries apart from the party characters, which I don't really think count as legendaries. And gosh darn it! And also I was going to mention the fact that um I'm I've got a piece to all of them except for the computer scientist. I don't have a piece to the computer scientist, which is okay because the one that I want is the disco chomper because you know. I like playing as the Chompers. Maybe that's why the Chompers don't annoy me so much is because I play as them a lot. But one of the reasons why I don't really mind them that much is the only really annoying ability that they have is Goop. I've never really had spike weed problems with Spike Weed or Burrow. 
Both of those are actually pretty easy to avoid, in my particular opinion. But you know, what does my opinion have to do with anything? Because, uh, you know, every character, every zombie in the game, apart from Hover Goat, and even Hover Goat has, like, the speed boost thing, which helps to outrun a chomper using Burrow. All of them have abilities that can negate Burrow. Some even have more than one. Like, like, uh... Captain Deadbeard has two abilities to block Burrow. And, heck, the Engineer has three. <sighs> the Engineer has three. The Engineer has Solar Grenade, which can unburrow Burrow Chompers. And the Bolt Blaster, which, if you try and Burrow a, a Engineer on a Bolt Blaster, you eat the Bolt Blaster instead. And if you are on a jackhammer and someone burrows you, it, they'll eat the jackhammer instead as well. Now, granted, the foot soldier is probably the weakest one because uh, I've always, I've developed the strategy with the chomper that like, like if you stand still, your uh, gauge for chomping people does uh, does not slow as does not go down as much, so you can chomp foot soldiers really easily by just standing still until they land, and then just going towards them then, and then, yeah. But then Rocket Leap, Rocket Leap actually helps, so if you're trying to be good against Chompers, there you go, Rocket Leap is the way to go. Words cannot describe my anger with the, the whole problem with the X button, because I press the X button, and he doesn't jump. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not nice. This game is stupid. You guys are probably getting annoyed of me just rambling on about chompers and and then failing this mission. God. How is there? How can you make a jump more like vertical or horizontal? There's like. There's no possible way to actually, like, it's chance. It's gotta be. I, I don't understand how there could actually be a way that you could make it so that a jump is horizontal or vertical. It's the, just, just, just no way. There's no way. It's impossible. Impossible. Old memes. Because impossible is like the oldest of the old memes. Did you guys not hear me spam the X button? Alright, let's get the controller like super cl close to the camera so you can hear me pressing buttons. Oh, okay. The one time that I'm actually showing proof of my X button pressing uh, is the one time that you actually work. Alright, well. I don't have to prove anything. The proof is in the pudding, or whatever. It's, you, you know, it's... Bird. It's, it, it's right here. Rank S. I did it. But I'm telling you, that mission is the worst out of all of them. It's worse than base to base. I I can assure you that. But anyway, uh, maybe we should we should end this video on a bit of a higher note because I did not do that. There goes the neighborhood. It's just <sighs> so yeah. We we should we should show things off here. Um, yeah. Here we go. So you see, all my super brains are at least advanced, or no, not at least advanced, at least, at least specialist. keep wanting to say elite for some reason. Toxic Brains is not specialist, but Party Brains is, because I'm assuming that I'll never be able to, like, actually unlock those characters, so, you know. Engineers, and I'm so glad I have all of these to specialists because I don't have to worry about all of them until I have to get them to advanced. Which, I mean, the engineer is pretty close on the level 8 because of the order that I'm going in with these. I don't care. I will be glad to have those done. The 
Foot Soldiers, here we go. Foot Soldiers are really good. I will give them that, but they're very weak to Chompers. At least if you're not using Rocket Leap. You really should use Rocket Leap. Not even if you're just, like, trying to avoid Chompers, because Rocket Leap is actually really good, and you get two of them and stuff. I don't know. I'm currently working on getting Captain Deadbeard up to Specialist. I didn't think I got Captain Party Brains up to uh, Specialist during the... Um, uh, during the Get Off My Lawnathon Part 2. That's... I started grinding grinding to try and get the Unicorn Chomper up to uh, uh, Master, just so I didn't, didn't have to worry about not being able to unlock him, as much as I'd actually kind of want to unlock him. I actually have all of these up to Specialist right now. See, look. Even the Computer Scientist is Specialist. It's probably a good move, seeing as how I don't, you know, have a piece to him, whereas I have a piece to all the other... All the other legendaries. And here, 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 here you go. Two special, two, two advanced, and f four specialists. Yeah, four specialists. I don't have uh, Captain or not Captain uh, Scurvy. I don't, I don't remember what the name of the pirate imp is. Maybe it's just pirate imp. I don't know. Scallywagon, that's the name. Currently I'm working on getting the Torchwood to advance because all of my plants are advanced. Or all of my plants are uh, specialist. And uh, so now he's the first one that I'm going to get up to advanced. There's there's only one character in this game that I actually have mastered, and it's the Citron because he is my absolute favorite. He is a beast. Uh, but yeah, you, there's no need to show you any of the other stats except for characters that I don't have. Uh, I don't have Party Rose to Specialist yet. Uh, I believe I do have Party and Iron Citron to Specialist. Yeah. Yeah, see. And just to show you I wasn't lying, I uh, actually did get the uh, Unicorn Chomper up to Elite. I just didn't... was not able to get him up to Super Elite and Master before the event ended. So, that's kind of sad, but also, here we go. Here's Corns. I actually do have Party Corn up to Specialist, but I don't have... Or no, that's not... That's not... No, it was the Commando Corn I have up to Specialist now. But yeah, that's... It's kind of depressing. I wasn't able to f finish that S rank. But I've already finished it S rank. I don't have to worry about doing it ever again. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up my quests while on camera. Uh, but anyway, that does it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to check out my uh, channel, as I have plenty of other Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 stuff there. And more on the way. But of course, hoping you guys have an awesome day. I will see all you people in the next video. This is JT's Gamer signing out. Uh, goodbye, guys.